Church this morning. Pastor Clay is in Brookings this morning. He was invited back to preach for the first time since he left Brookings six, seven years ago. So he was invited back to preach there this morning, so he's not going to be with us today. Um, uh, Jenna's going to provide our prelude this morning. Let us stand for a responsive call to worship. Let us praise God the Creator. Who is filled with glory and power, with holiness and splendor. Let us thank God the Savior. Who is filled with love and compassion, with justice and peace. Let us experience God the Spirit. Let us worship our God, holy three in one. We will worship God with all our hearts, mind, soul, and strength. Together, let us affirm, I believe in God, the Father Almighty. Creator of heaven and earth. Our opening song this morning is Awesome God, and it's found in the Faith We Sing, number 2040. It'll also be on the screen.
Please be seated. Please join me in our opening unison prayer. Creator God, we gather this morning out of our great love and honor for you, who created time and space, galaxies, stars, and planets. We thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, born on earth to love us and save us. Send your Holy Spirit to fill the place with your very presence in the time of worship, ahead so that we may encounter you today. Make your presence felt among us. Amen. Our next song will be How Great Thou Art, verses 1 and 2, and it's found on page 77 of your hymnal. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all that you have given us. We are blessed in so many ways, and so help us to share those blessings with others. Lord, I pray to you that we can uh, step through this Apostles' Creed this morning and help us to understand the impact of your gifts on our lives. What we confess this morning, I pray, is what we all truly believe. I pray for those who are lifted up this morning. Pray for Pastor Clay and his family as they recover from the sickness in their house. I pray for his guidance this morning as he delivers a message to the Brookings Methodist Church. Pray for those who are lifted up this morning with, uh, with, with health concerns. Jordan Hout, Sandy Oakland, Baby Asen, Dorothy Van Bachren, uh, Teresa's sister. Um, I also pray for anyone else that wasn't brought up, brought up this morning. I uh, thank you for a successful harvest for us. Um, I pray, I thank you that for the most part, it seems to have been a safe harvest for everyone. Um, I pray for those who are still on our hearts this morning that were not brought up this morning. Guide us throughout this week as we try to live out our faith. In your, in your name we pray, the one who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. All right, Jenna's going to uh, do the children's word, so come on, come on forward, kids. All right, good morning, guys. So today our service is going to be about the Apostles' Creed. 
That's a couple of big words. You guys know what the word creed is? I think you've, you've heard it before. Mm -hmm. So a creed is a statement of our Christian beliefs. So we're going to talk about what we believe, and we're going to say it with a bunch of fancy words, okay? And you probably have heard it when you, when you hear our service here. But I'm going to teach you a shorter version that's a little easier to remember, okay? Is it on the screen, Scott? Okay. All right, so let's do it by echoing me, and then we'll say it all together one more time, okay? So here's our statement of what we believe. I believe in God above. Can you guys repeat that after me? I believe in Jesus' love. I believe his spirit, too, comes to tell me what to do. I believe that I can be kind and good, dear Lord, like thee. All right, and this is good for the big kids to know out there, too. So can you join us, and we'll say it all together. All right, here's our creed. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe his spirit, too, comes to tell me what to do. I believe that I can be kind and good, dear Lord, like me. All right, so it's a reminder that Jesus loves us and we should love him. All right, thanks for coming up. You guys can go over and get a snack. And there's some papers there too. All right, our, service, our passage this morning is from Romans chapter 10, verses 5 through 15, and that's found on page 212 in your pew Bible. Moses wrote this about being put right with God by obeying the law. Whoever obeys the commands of the law will live. But what the scripture says about being put right with God through faith is this. You are not to ask yourself, who will go up into heaven? That is to bring Christ down. Nor are you to ask, who will go down into the world below? That is to bring Christ up from death. What it says is this. God's message, message is near you on your lips and in your heart. That is the message of faith that we preach. If you confess that Jesus is Lord and believe that God raised him from death, you will be saved. For it is by your faith that we are put right with God. It is by our confession that we are saved. The scripture says whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. This includes everyone because there is no difference between Jews and Gentiles. God is the same Lord of all and richly blesses all who call to him. As the scripture says, everyone who calls out to the Lord for help will be saved. But how can they call to him for help if they have not believed? And how can they believe if they have not heard the message? And how can they hear if the message is not proclaimed? And how can the message be proclaimed if the messengers are not set out? As the scripture says, how wonderful is the coming of messengers who bring good news. So our service is going to be a little bit different this morning. Uh, we're going to step through the Apostles' Creed with a hymn sing. So those of you who like to sing hymns, this is going to be for you. Um, so I'd like everyone to turn to page 882, and we're going to read the Apostles' Creed ecumenical version in your hymnal. All right. 
here we go. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And in Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. We'll sing verses 1 and 2 of Hark the Herald Angels Sing. It's found on page 240 of your hymnal. Suffered under Pontius Pilate. Sing verses 1 and 2 of Go to Dark Gethsemane, found on page 290 of your hymnal. was crucified, died, and was buried. Uh, let's sing, we, Were You There? Verses 1, 2, and 5, found on page 288 of your hymnal.
On the third day, he rose again. Let's sing verse 1 of Christ is Risen on page 307. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Let's sing Majesty, page 176 of your hymnal. will come again to judge the living and the dead. Let's sing Love Divine, All Love's Excelling, verses 3 and 4, found on page 384 of your hymnal. <clears throat> I believe in the Holy Spirit. Let's sing Spirit of the Living God, page 393.
the Holy Catholic Church. We're going to sing, I Come With Joy, on page 617, verses 2, 3, and 5. The Communion of Saints. We're going to sing For All the Saints, verses 1 and 2, on page 711. forgiveness of sins. We're going to sing Freely, Freely, verse 1, found on page 389 of the United Methodist Hymnal. the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting.
Please rise for our benediction. Go forth now in the strength of our shared beliefs, are known and made clear in the words of the creed. For how are we to call on one in, in whom we have not believed? How are we to hear without someone to proclaim him? How will we proclaim him unless we are sent? Send us out, O God, with your spirit to be the ones who proclaim the good news. Please join us in I'll Fly Away on uh, The Faith We Sing, verses, uh, page two, 2282, verse 1 and the refrain. <laughs> 